Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video I thought it would be really cool if we take the Doka Metal quiz together. Uh, there's a little quiz that they've not added in but a link to a quiz that they've placed in Doka Metal and yeah um, it looked like a lot of fun uh, and so I started doing like the first two questions and then I realized you know it actually might be pretty cool to see what I do and don't know or maybe can answer, maybe provide more info to, and just, yeah, I don't know, just see, uh, do the quiz. And if I don't know the answer, or you guys know the answer, you can see, and we can see what happens. So now we have which of the following types and then advantageous against the type shown here. This is a simple one. It's gonna be int, because obviously we're just talking typing. What happens when you collect a key sphere of the same color as the type of your ally? I assume ally means a guy on your team, so this will be twice the amount of key, traditionally speaking, of course. Next, we have which of the following training locations will guarantee you a super success. So Gravity Chamber, Wasteland is XP, Supreme Kai is XP, Gravity Chamber 50, I don't even recall. It must be 150 being super success. And I, that, I use 150 a lot, so I know it guarantees uh, the super success, it's probably the easiest location, or well, was the easiest location for me to farm uh, back in the day, uh, before they started adding locations into the Zenny shop, and now getting locations is easy. Back in the day I had to you know, farm these things pretty intensely, so yeah, but it must be uh, yeah, 150. Which type of potential orbs can you get by playing the weekly event Activate Your Hidden Potential on Mondays? So Mondays are AGL events. Uh, for those who maybe don't know, the events cycle through different dates. So like AGL is on a Monday. Uh, then on Tuesday, I believe, is Tech. I think Wednesday is Int, if I'm remembering correctly. So yeah, they change up. What is the name of the LR character you can recruit by clearing the greatest warrior? Well, this is obviously Goku. Uh, my most watched video on YouTube is completing the greatest warrior missions. And yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty good, so it's definitely Goku. How are passive skills activated? They're activated by tapping the special effect. They're activated automatically since when the requirements met. They activate upon performing a specific action. Well, technically B and C can be correct, but I'm going to go with automatically, uh, just because it's just the way it's worded, I guess. Which of following the events has the highest chance of leveling up link skills. Uh, Giru's event is the only one that actually prioritizes link skills here. Uh, Bomber is a equipment event. Uh, Trials towards New Horizons and God Level Intensive Training are also uh, well equipment events. Bomber is a support item event. Uh, the Giru event is designed for link leveling, so it must have the highest rate. Which of the following support memories can raise all of your superclass allies' attack for one or two turns when facing an extreme class enemy? Tempura is key. Oolong is chance, uh, Freezer is extreme, so it's going to be pull the tail, which I actually use uh, quite a bit because it's a nice little boost, especially for things like SBR, ESBR, it's pretty cool. Which of the following items can raise all allies key by 3 for 3 turns when used? Well, Whis is 40% damage reduction, Scout is the ability to see super attacks, the final one is... I think it's cleansing. I think it removes debuffs. I've actually never used, I think I've used it once for like an item mission. It, it's for removing debuffs, so it's the fruit of the tree of might, which is actually one of the better key items in the game, by the way. Uh, it's actually really, really solid. Which of the following can be exchanged for secret treasure chest skill orb? Well, it's the emblems of cooperation. You obtain them from chain battle. Uh, the sensu bean, the burrow cookie are both sport items, and yeah. So there we go, Dokan Master, uh, pretty good. Now, I've seen, or one of the questions from my previous attempt was actually different. So I think there are some different questions uh, to what we got. I think there are other options. So I wanna try again, because I want to see if there's like any other questions we can get. So which of the following training locations, that one we've done, the key one we've done, okay. This is new. Which of the following has the highest value in Zenny when sold? It has to be the Hercule statue, all other three are super attack items. 
Goku, uh, AGL orbs, standard procedure. I think they've changed the order here though. Or have they? Or am I just being tripped up? Okay, what's the name of the event in which you can get skill orbs that boost stats and level of hidden potential skills? Well, it's going to be the god level training, but actually weirdly enough, you can get you can get them from Super Battle Road or is it only ESBR? I think it's only ESBR that gives them as mission rewards. So it'll be god level intensive training. Full A skill orb go gold skull orb shot that can be equipped to any character. What particular requirement has to be met? Uh, two hidden potential paths need to be opened. This is uh, the most obvious. Where can you get incredible gems that can be used to recruit Elder Kai's? Also a question I get very often, but it's the Dokkan story. Uh, for me, 29.6, but not for everyone. What is the correct order for the damage scale of an ally's level 10 super? What the hell? They're asking about modifiers. Okay, so for those who don't know, uh, super attack, like text, has a modifier. So like, for example, mega colossal damage does more damage than colossal. But at different levels, sometimes the key range or the range of attack is a bit different. So they've got Supreme over Huge over Colossal over Low. Colossal is supposed to be bigger than Huge, so it can't be that. Uh, immense over Colossal over Huge over Supreme. Supreme is the highest, I believe. Uh, then we have Mega Colossal, Colossal, it could be C. Then we have Colossal, Extreme, Immense, and Huge. C or D, but I, they all seem wrong uh, to me, actually. At level 10, I'm pretty... St I'm like 90% certain all of these options are wrong. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, immense, colossal, huge, no, these are all wrong. Are they? Am I blind? I'm like 90% certain these are wrong. I actually think every single option here is incorrect. See, Supreme is the highest, Mega Colossal is higher than Colossal. Low is the lowest. Huge is in between low and immense. Is, immense is also high. Immense, I think, is the second highest behind Supreme, or it's the highest ahead of Supreme. It's, it's, yeah. Mm, no, I think immense is the high, Immense and Supreme are the two highest. Then you have Mega Colossal, Colossal. Should be huge, should be low. Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to go D. What skill effect will the Link skill fierce battle grant if leveled up to level 10? And that is attack 20%. Alright, so we got the super attack question wrong, I assume. Uh, but I'd love to know what you guys got. Uh, maybe you can share them with me uh, down below or, or you can get me on Twitter and I, I can see. But yeah, I think it's really cool. It's a cool little quiz. There's also 10 stones of 3,000 people do it. So, yeah, rewards. But yeah, see you guys. Bye.